day I hit the town of Walton, I walked right into a smoldering drama. Perhaps if I had moved on, it wouldn't have ended as it did. And things would have gone differently for a lot of people. June Mills, for instance, would have been spared ridicule she didn't deserve any more than she deserved what she got from listening to me. All I meant was, there's nothing in it for you chasing around like this. You ought to go home. No. Why do you waste your money on a guy like me? I'm not wasting my money. It's yours as well. I don't care what you do with it. Burn it up, tear it, do anything you want with it. Take it easy. I'll a minute for your sake. If you had any consideration at all, you wouldn't even mention the money. Then there was Stella, who knew the score all right, but held out for something that didn't fit her reputation. 21, the stork club. That's where you belong, smothered in mink. I can see you there. And do you see me with a ring on my finger? Somebody to give me a home? Sure. Sure. Now look. Last night I made up my mind. Finally, there were Pop and Dave Atkins and Mr. Judd. Things would have gone differently for them, too. And June would have been spared an ordeal no decent girl should have to face. Why shield a man who lied to you? Who wanted to steal from you? When you have positive proof that he married you for your money. He didn't lie to me. And he isn't guilty. I know he isn't. He only ran away because he had to. He's always had to run away, all his life, even as a child, when he was beaten for things he didn't do. But he won't come back because of you. Mm -hmm.